This is Alore News. Oh, your pensioners hold appreciation rally in honor of Makindi. The Nigeria Union of Pensioners, or your state council, described the governor of Oyo State, Engineer Shea Makinde, as an omoluabi for possessing a good mindset that has made him not to renege on his agreement with pensioners despite the challenges in the policies. The NUP, or your State Council, made this declaration at the governor's office, Secretariat Agudi Ibadan, during a mega rally in appreciation of the governor, noting that it has been three years of unbroken relationship and partnership between the Makinde government and pensioners. Secretary of the Union, Comrade Olusha Gwabaton, in a speech he delivered at the event, lauded Governor Makinde for reversing the ugly trend whereby pensioners died in their numbers due to non-payment of their pensions and gratuities. Governor Makinde, who attended the rally in company of Dr. Bukola Saraki, a former Senate President and Presidential Aspirant on the platform of the People's Democratic Party (PDP), declared that his government would continue to cater for the welfare of pensioners in the state hey baba me Speaking at the event, Saraki, who was in Ibadan to meet with PDP delegates ahead of the party's national convention, commended the governor for what he has achieved in the state. <laughs> Earlier, the Secretary of the Oyo State Council of NUP, Comrade Abaton, said the pensioners came to show appreciation to the governor for the prompt payment of their pensions on the 25th of every month and the payment of stalled gratuities. We are here to physically show our appreciation to you since you wanted the side of government in Oyo State. He stated that the rally had in attendance all categories of pensioners, including retired principals of secondary schools, heads of local government administration, directors from various fields, engineers, doctors, retired primary school teachers, local government pensioners and retirees from tertiary institutions, government parastatals and agencies. Abuyedi Ojo reporting for Alori News.